What was the first camera you ever used? For me, it was this tiny camera that was always in my father's study desk, a Minolta 16. These sub-miniature or spy cameras shoot tiny spools of 16mm film with a negative size of 10mm by 14mm, which ironically was actually bigger than my future camera, a Kodak disc. These cameras were built between 1955 and 1974. The one my father had, a Minolta 16 II, was built in 1960. And in what can only be described as a miracle, this camera has followed me from house to house and never been lost to the bottom drawer, where the underpant gnomes live. I used to play with this camera for hours at a time, pretending I was a spy. I only ever remember getting to put film in it and use it as an actual camera once. This was in 1983, when I was young, innocent, and had no idea that the world would never be as cool. Sadly, Minolta stopped selling film for these cameras in 1994. And though you could refill a cartridge with regular 16mm film, the spools were flimsy and very easy to break, resulting in there basically being none available. And so, the camera sat on my shelf as an amazingly built fidget toy. That is, until recently, when along with the explosion of 3D printing, the Film Photography Project launched a new 3D printed film cartridge along with 25 foot spools of 16mm film. So, hot on the heels of shooting with my new 6x17 camera, I decided to go from the largest negative to the smallest. I downloaded a 3D model of Thingiverse, and after a few botched attempts, managed to get a workable film cartridge. Realising that developing would also be a bit different, I first tried trimming down a 35mm Patterson film spindle, and after a few attempts trying to load it with some dead 16mm film and not really succeeding, I was back onto Thingiverse and lo and behold some genius had even modelled a 16mm spindle for Patterson film tanks. Happy days! Now, as this camera was built in 1960 and last used in 1983, 40 years ago, I'm old, I didn't have super high hopes of success. And so rather than buy a 25 foot roll of film from the Film Photography Project, I had one of my genius light bulb moments, which almost never go according to plan. I ordered a single roll of 110 film off eBay, figuring I could get at least two rolls out of it, and from that decide if it was even going to work. And after all, 110 film uses 16mm film, right? Yeah, it, was, it has sprocket holes, but I've been reliably informed that sprocket holes on your negatives adds 100 cool points on Instagram. So, into the dark bag went the 110 film, the 3D printed film cartridge, the camera, apparently 3D prints aren't super light safe and so it's best to load them in the shade, some pre-cut tape to stick the film onto the take-up spool, and a ruler. The theory being I could measure out the 18 inches a single roll needs, although in reality after you deal with the backing paper on the 110 film, it's super unwieldy to try and measure the film without touching it and leaving fingerprints, so I kind of guessed. Pretty much my go-to plan when things don't go as planned. I went ham on the 110 cartridge with some pliers, ripping the spindle out, removed the backing paper, trimmed off what I felt was half of the film, and popped the rest into an old 35mm film cartridge for future use. What was left, I rolled into a tight roll and inserted into the canister, popped on the cap, then taped the end of the leader to the take-up spool, inserted it onto the other end of the cartridge, popped on its cap, and then loaded the film into the camera so that it was light safe. Now here is the first gotcha of these cameras. Every time you load a new cartridge you have to manually reset the counter by setting the little wheel to the red dot. But, and this confused the hell out of me, every time you close and open the camera it winds the film and cocks the shutter. A little blue dot on the shutter showing you you're ready to shoot. But, if you close the camera without shooting and then open it again, it handily winds the film on anyway advancing the frame count. So the takeaway here is, don't open the camera unless you are ready to shoot. And if you do, don't close it without shooting. Which brings us on to issue number two. As the film in the spool is just wound onto itself, not a spindle like say a 35mm film cartridge, there is no way of knowing when you have finished a roll, other than the reliably unreliable film counter, and also maybe the feeling of tension, or lack thereof, when advancing the camera. Either way, I was off to take some photos. The Minolta 16 is totally manual, with a shutter speed of bulb to 1 500th of a second, and aperture of 2.8 to f16, on a 22mm Rockall lens. I kind of enjoyed the irony that I needed my state-of-the-art phone to meter for a 50-year-old camera that was a third of the size of the phone. And boy, was it fun to shoot. 
probably the best street photography camera ever invented. It was so easy to frame up a shot, click, and be on my way without anybody noticing, and that ever so satisfying click clack as you advance the film with the case. Back home, I loaded the film onto the spindle exactly as you would a regular 35mm roll of film and developed as normal. And yeah. So on the list of things I learned today, apparently 110 film is pre-exposed with the frame numbers between each frame to simplify getting prints made. So the result being half of my shots were actually exposed on these pre-exposed gaps, ruining them. It kind of sucks. But on the other hand, there are pictures. On a camera, a seven-year-old me shot 30 years ago. On to scanning. Once again, 3D printing comes to the rescue. Some kind person has created a mount that sits inside a 35mm tray for my Epson V750, and oh the glory when they were scanned in. Look at the resolution. You can literally see and count each and every grain. But honestly, you don't shoot sub-miniature to pixel pin. You look and say, hey, there's a picture. So there you have it. Are there multiple gotchas when using this camera? Yes. Is the quality horrendous, bordering on unusable? Totally. Did I have a ton of fun making my own film cartridge, loading it and taking the delight of a camera out for the first shoot in 30 years and have it work? Totally. Will I be using it again? Are you insane? Did you see those images? Of course not. So, until next time, say hi to your dog for me. <laughs>